The more time I spend building this car, the more footage is accumulated, which awaits a smooth TCR edit. However, in this episode, our focus is solely on sound and vision, for those of you who haven't quite guessed it, exhaust and headlights. Further featuring the as promised mini of the week, with an envelope to open from my good friend Kev, aka Gentleman's Motor Racing Team, and yes, we play more tunes with car parts. But that's enough of my rambling, and it's about time we jump straight in. Guys, welcome to another episode again. And today we're going to put the exhaust on the minute and it's a stainless exhaust all the way from the front to the back. And the reason we're doing this now is because we've had a few complaints off the neighbors about the noise and it's got me into a bit of trouble. And guys, what I mean by a bit of trouble is this. Basically, I took the mini for a quick run down the road to make sure that we could engage all gears and everything was working fine. And one of my jealous neighbors decided to phone the police to pay me a visit. However, with a bit of smooth talking and a sophisticated argument with the jealous neighbour, it would now seem that I have to be very careful in what I say and do whilst working on my Mini. So we're going to put the exhaust on in this episode. If it goes on well and we have time, I have some steering rack limiters that I need to put on. And basically now she's interrupting. If you can see, I've got some steering rack limiters that I need to put on to try and stop the wheels catching and hopefully that'll solve the problem. But other than that, let's just get into this video and crack on. Now, for those that have been watching for some time, you'll probably realise that I like to play uh, car parts as musical instruments. So I wasn't going to play you a song, but then I realised for people like Piper Doug will probably ask why I didn't do it. So here goes. It's a bit of a better shape. It's got a bigger bore, so hopefully we'll get a better sound out of this one. You ready? So there we go. Let's get the sexy piece on the vehicle. So we've jacked the car up. We're literally going to put the link pipe in first. So I'm going to slide under that. I'll get the GoPro out so we can get it underneath the car and have a better angle. And once that's in, we'll literally go to the back of the car and chuck the back box on. So now we've fitted the exhaust and it's looking sexy and sounding sweet. I think it's about time we gave the Mini back its face. And by that, I mean the headlights. Now I've gone for something that is aftermarket and something that isn't original for the reason that anybody that's driven a Mini knows the headlights are shocking and every MOT they go through, they get an advisory to say they need to be upgraded or the better, they just say not adequate. They don't light up the road enough basically. And it can be quite frightening down those country lanes at night, not seeing where you're going. So rather than me explain what lights I've bought, how about we just roll some nice buttery shots to see what's going on. So let's do that. So 
as you can see, that's quite a high-tech light that we're going for. But opening the box, I realised something that kind of bores me in life. Instructions. So the only way we can make this interesting is by reading them, but in a better way. So let's go for it. Old wiring can cause issues with LED headlamps on some models. If your high beams are stuck on, please do the following. Check all your wiring for damage and also we must do this. We need to get the H4 adapter and then connect the, um, hmm, the H4 cable. And the yellow wire wants to go in with the green wire. It's gone into the H4 adapter. That will obviously go into the plug. And then the plug will go into the halo. Then the yellow wire will go into the green and the red wire. Hmm, what's the red wire about? But one thing that we do need to remember is how beautiful is that bridge? On to the next location. And then the fog light switch with the red wire goes into the... Guys, let's just go and do this because honestly... Let's just go and do this because I really haven't got the patience for instructions. And after all, in true TCR style, how hard can it be? See you back at home. After boring myself with instructions, I thought I should reap what I sow and just simply have a go. Ooh, sorry about the cringy rhyme. Anyway, let's give my Mini the halos it truly deserves. His gate crashed again. Guess who? He doesn't let me get on with anything on this car. So basically, if you're lucky enough to have Tom Shorrock's mobile number, you'll understand that he never texts back or answers the phone, so basically you just got to turn up. Mm, sort of, maybe. Anyway, now we've got... Well, I'll talk when you can see my face. Now we've got the bezels on the lights, we can throw them in. There is some wiring adaptations that we're going to do to this. And before people whinge, I am using crimps. And if you want to yeah. know why I'm using crimps, Go back a few videos and watch me connect the wire and lay them up. You'll see my rant explaining it, but that's as far as I'm going into it. I think it's the best way and that's what I'm going with. So these are the lights. What we've got by looking at the drawing after we read those instructions, you've got this that literally just plugs into your existing wiring harness. No, it doesn't. I'm telling a lie. This plugs into a relay. So this green plugs into this relay and basically you're left with a green plug. And then with the green plug out of that, it plugs into the existing harness. You will see all this in a second. However, you have got two cables. You've got a red and a yellow. You get some cable extension to wire it in. The yellow is for the halo around the edge to flash with the indicator. So this will need wiring into the indicator circuit, which I'll show you how to do. And then you will have this red here, which is the daytime running light. Yes. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You could wire them so as soon as you turn the ignition on, they come on and they're always on, or you can wire them off the side lights. Now, I want to wire them on the side lights because I want them on a switch and I don't want them on all the time in case I just, you know, turn the engine off and my battery goes flat and I forget for some bizarre reason. So I'll show you how to wire those in as well, but that literally just wires into the side light there. So we'll use a crimp and we'll get it in. Do you have any comments? Uh, no. Right, so let's do it. Here are the cables. This is for your side light, so we're literally going to chop the red and join that onto the new light and then the black, we're going to literally chop that and get rid of it. I am laughing because this goon over here is filming me for Instagram while I'm doing this. So that literally plugs in, we'll chop that, crimp it, throw the light in and then we'll connect it up and, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's enjoy this. <laughs>
Right then, so now we've routed this yellow cable round from this light, which is basically for the indicator to work. Now all we're going to do is, if you remember last time, I jointed the indicator wire in here so it was more accessible rather than in the wing. Less chance of water ingress in this side behind this than in there. So all we're going to do is this yellow goes to the green. So we're literally going to chop that crimp out again, add this in, recrimp it, heat shrink it, and it should work. And we'll turn them on and have a look. <laughs> They look awesome and that's without them being lit in my opinion. We are going to put black bezels around because I think the chrome bezels, it just takes the detail away from the halo, it sort of gets lost in the chrome. So uh, that could be a saying that, lost in chrome. So now I'm just going to neaten this wiring up, just tidy it up and tuck it away again. Connect the battery up and uh, let's see what they look like. Battery's connected up, let's turn the key, ignition, side lights, yes. <laughs> So that's um, side lights, low beam, let's try high beam. And that's high beam. Wow, they are so bright. Indicators. And that side's flashing quick because we've got a bulb out. <laughs> that time roll the intro and this week's mini of the week is from a guy called Richard Hicklin and he's been watching this channel for a bit of time he says right now let's have a look at his turquoise blue mini from what I can see and straight up at looking at this car, I can see that he's got a DTM twin center exit exhaust. I've had one of those and they are loud and they do sound good. Moving around the car, he's also got some sexy Star Mag wheels. I was a fan of those, still am a fan of those, but I just didn't think they worked quite well with my car and what I wanted to achieve, but your car really does pull them off well. Also, in the car, you can see he's got some Cobra seats. They look really smart, I like the bucket look. However, again, my car, I didn't think that they would actually fit in with what I wanted to achieve. But in this, your car, it seems to pull it off really well. But the sports pack arches on, by the looks of things, I used to have those on my orange car, and I just thought, yeah, they just, you know, just give it that edge to make it look wide and fat and a bit lower, and uh, it does look great. Moving on, he's got the blue boot lining. I've got a black boot lining, which is very similar, but the blue, again, goes with your car and it matches your silicon hoses in the engine, of course. Now, a few bits of information. Rich sent me an email saying that he bought this car in 2011 and he's been rebuilding it and slowly restoring it since then. However, he has recently submitted a full professional pictures and a write-up to Mini World magazine, so you will be seeing this in Mini World and he's hoping for that to come out the latest at the end of the year, hopefully sooner, he's hoping. You can see this video, what I've just took snippets out of, on his YouTube channel, I think he's uploaded it, I, I grabbed it off YouTube and it looks great. And also, before we do go in true TCR style, we always have to hear the engine when we get sent engine videos. So right now, I'll shut up and let's hear some, um, yeah, let's hear some noise barriers getting broken. Well, Rich, I just want to thank you for sending this in. I hope I can call you Rich, even though you're called Richard Hicklin. So, but Rich, thanks for sending this in. I hope to keep you interested in the channel and I hope that we can, I can see your mini in the flesh when mine's finished at a show. And hopefully you lot can send more stuff in for me to feature. Um, and apart from that, I think it is time to wrap this video up. Just joking. You didn't actually think I forgot to open this envelope from Kev, did you? Well, why don't we open it now? The time has come. I've got my envelope. I've not opened it, Kev. But I'm gonna watch it. And uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this for a while and I'm eager to find out what's in this. So let's watch it.
Now we'll open this, uh, but we'll review that episode in a few seconds. So I wasn't allowed to open this until I'd seen it. Do you reckon it is? You can you use an envelope opener? I know, it says do not bend, but it's, it's skeletates it. Hi Tom, loving your channel sir. Please find and close a selection of storyboards and random bits of paper that helped me make Burning the 1275 GT episode into a home of the great work you do and the hours of entertainment you give fellow members of the YouTube community. So I have also included an envelope with my plans with regards to the next parody episode, but don't let anyone know who it is. Thank you. <laughs> Storyboard. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> so that is how this episode was a major success. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> He's drawn it all out. Yeah. You'll have to read it properly, won't you? Yeah, I'll read this properly. Anyway, this is the next person that's going to be um, have the mick taken out of them. I'm not allowed to say who it is, but what I will do is I'll read it and uh, leave you guessing. Ah, so I'm afraid you'll all have to, uh, have to wait for that. So, yeah, let's get back to the mini. So hopefully I'm going to get some more videos uploaded. I'm not going to be as slow in the process. But for now, guys, I just think we shall say goodbye and I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta!